Got a phone call, so I had to pull over on the road. It's kind of a boring video anyway, just going out on the road, but at least you have a clear indication of the time and distance, or you would have had a better one had I not been disrupted. I wonder if there's a way, oh, I could probably put it on, yeah, next time I do this, I think that's the trick. You can put it on, um, what do you call that, air? airplane mode and then you can't get an incoming call and you can do funny things like this. Oh, it may help if I put my, my thing again back on, hang on GPS. And we're going up here to Cooper Road which is eight tenths of a mile. You're gonna get car sick watching my video. <laughs> Up if you kept watching it this long. And when I go back, I'll actually push my little button that gives me the time and distance from, say, my office here, which I can put in the body of the email. Prepare the to turn right in half a mile. You're loud, Dorothy. Yeah, it should be a good time for the. Um, the Christmas, for the Victorian Christmas, a little bit of weather, I don't know, it could be a little rainy or maybe some snow, they were calling for some snow tonight, but now I think they're backing off on it, I'm not sure, it's supposed, to, next right onto Cooper Road. It's supposed to snow down to like 2,000 feet, or somebody said 1,500, but Cooper Road coming up here. And now turn right. Take a right. And we'll head up here to Blue Tent, which is 1.6 miles. She said it before I did. 1.6 miles. Right on the money, Dorothy. Yeah. I'm looking at the road and then I'm looking at the video and the video, which I guess is known for that, is brighter than it looks out. <laughs> it's not that dismal, but yeah, it's kind of a gray, gray sky, indicative of, it's 39 degrees, so yeah, we're quite a ways away from sun country, but and then again, if it drops later and it tries to rain or it Moisture's in the air, probably be some snow clouds. I'm not sure how they look different, but I was told they do look different. Another mile to Blue Tent. How they came up with these names, I'm never quite sure. Half a mile to Blue Tent Road. And I can see the finish Prepare flag. To turn left in half a mile. So, according to the little finishing flag, we go up here, take a left, go probably not more than a half a mile, and the 10 acres is on the left. Blue Tent Hill Road. Okay, Dorothy. I'm going to go up in Blue Tent. Close to Blue Tent. And 
again, potential road is on the left here. Now turn left. There's our sign. There's a different little vent over here. You will arrive at your destination on the right in 800 feet. This looks like a mixture of asphalt and two potholes and whatever else. It still feels and it's asphalt. Okay, so the property is up here. You have reached your destination on the left. Uh, I think I was saying when I got interrupted with a phone call, this was a divorce situation. Otherwise, I guess they wouldn't be selling it. Yeah, I can tell why it looks kind of neat here. So I got a lockbox on this thing, so I'll probably I don't have to turn it off, but I think I will because I've already got six minutes on here. But I'll just get out and walk up here to the gate. So yeah, that's the house down there. So you can just kind of see the terrain is, you know more level that way okay 